Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am inspired by the Chanel backstage look for the cruise collection that just came out. This is a very natural you, but enhanced in a very subtle way. So that is today's look. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So I'm on the Chanel beauty page here on Instagram and luckily for us, they always list all the products that they use. So you can see that the makeup is very soft, very natural. They listed off like 12 products, but it looks like, you know, maybe they just woke up like this. And what, I, what I'm seeing, what's catching my eye is like very heavily lined eyes in a subtle way, very neutral look, you know, the cheek and the lip are very, matchy matchy in like a beige brown neutral your lip but better and i have most if not all i have most of these products here and guess what we're gonna go ahead and mix and match if you don't have everything listed here you have enough at home so let's go ahead and do this everything that i'm wearing today is listed in the description box down below please go check that out that includes makeup my clothes that i'm wearing jewelry i bought myself these new earrings here for summer uh, and the brushes as well. So everything is there. Now we don't have a step-by-step -step guide, but that's why I'm here. So let's go ahead and start off with the liner first. This is the waterproof liner in number 20 espresso. This is a dark brown. So this is like a dark matte brown. I'm gonna go ahead and go in the waterline here. And then I'm also going in the bottom waterline, which I don't normally do but this is what it looks like in the photo so i'm just going like this as well and i'm also going to draw a thin line on top now they also used an eyeshadow afterwards and i think that they used the liner first and then smudged the eyeshadow on top and then liner on the bottom it's a very heavy lined look if you want this to look less heavy don't go in the bottom waterline that tends to make your eye look a bit smaller it also just makes the look a bit more intense and it can look a bit severe but luckily we're using this with espresso is this liner perfect absolutely not it looks quite smudged and uneven that's okay we're going over top with some liner and a pencil brush in a second so we really don't have to be worried about being too precise. Moving on to eyeshadow, we're going into Condé Ré Experience, which is one of my favorite palettes. We are going to neglect the red eyeshadow, which they also did on the Chanel um, page here. So we're going to lean into the dark mattes, the browns, and specifically, we're going to go into this one here. This is our second shade. This is the lightest. This is two, this is three. Three is quite dark. So we're gonna go into this one here, with a smudger pencil brush here. And we're just gonna go over top of the liner. And we're going to do this on the bottom lashes as well. We're not going in the waterline, but just on the lashes, just like this. And just blending it together very nicely, very subtly. I do, I love this palette so much. I'm glad to see it used. When I was looking at the Instagram page, and I saw that they use Condor Experience. I was like, oh, tell me more, because this is one of my favorites. I know when they came out with this, they came out with another one that was all matte and soft neutral browns, but I think they discontinued it. Was it like clair obscure? Remind me in the comments, like didn't they come out with that at some point? But then for some reason, I don't think it's permanent. Maybe if it is, I should definitely get it because I just love these soft browns. They're just so perfect. And they don't look that thrilling in the palette, but they just look so pretty when you wear them. Now I'm going into a big fluffy brush into the first shade here. This one here, I think I'm almost hitting pan. I think very soon. So I'm just picking up some of this and we're just going to put this in the crease. It really matches my skin tone. So you could do this before also as well. It's sort of, it's there. It doesn't even look like eyeshadow, but it just helps the look look more defined. So you can go quite generously with it. You know, I'm sort of passing it here in the crease, on the lid. It's just going a little bit everywhere. 
Now I'm just going to go over top with the espresso liner just a little bit just to intensify but just in the outer corner just like this today i'm feeling very fresh because i'm wearing a brand new outfit specifically for summer that i think i'm going to reuse a lot starts off with the brand new gold earrings i love gold and black i just think it's a really nice classic combination and then the pants are a nice linen they're very light great for summer and then some sandals just black sandals they're comfy I, I mean, I like a flip-flop for a ha like a house shoe. Like I wear flip-flops at home as like a house shoe or at the beach, but I can't tolerate a flip-flop outside the home. Like I need support. I need some cushion. So these sandals have like a little bit of like, not platform, but just like something. So I'm not just like pounding the pavement with just like my body weight. I need some support. I'm gonna go ahead and add mascara now. I think the eye look is gonna be very simple, just like this. I'm going into my YSL mascara. This stuff is great. It's very voluminous, very dramatic. It's very much like you're wearing false lashes, but just with mascara. So go ahead and be generous with this. Moving on to the complexion, they used the complexion touch. I have 40 and 30. So 40 is my complexion and then 30 is my concealer. So the Cruise Collection is a fashion show and it used to also be a makeup line. Remember a few years ago, I think it stopped in 2020 or 2019 was the last year. And I don't remember if it came out before or after Les Beige, but it was always like around the same time. It was Les Beige and Cruise or Cruise and Les Beige and it's summer, a cruise, you know, this year it's about being in Monaco, so that type of vibe. I looked at some of the looks for this year's cruise collection. Honestly, I don't know, I'm not that inspired by any of them. Like, they look fine, but nothing's like wowing me that much. But I don't know what happened to the makeup cruise collections because it was just sort of like unceremoniously dumped. I don't know if it's because the Le Beige collections starting getting bigger and bigger. I don't know if they got rid of them because it often was very similar. Like the, the aesthetic, the vibe, it's, you know, you on a yacht somewhere on the Mediterranean. Okay, like both of those, you know, Cruise and Le Beige, it's very similar. So I don't know why, yeah, maybe it was just redundant. I don't know. But I mean, we never got an answer as to why it went away or if it will come back i doubt it will at this point i mean i think at this point cruise is not coming back the makeup i mean it's not coming back and and if they did bring it back it would come back in several years and they would call it something totally different but yeah i haven't used the complexion touch as concealer in a while once i started using my sublimage concealer i was like everybody out i have a new favorite and i still love the sublimage one but I sort of forgot how lovely this is like this is the same texture it's like a glass of water for your under eye if you have super super dry dehydrated dehydrated under eyes try the complexion touch as concealer i think you'd like it tonight i'm going to go see feist in concert which i'm really excited about but i'm a bit worried because the last time i talked about a concert here on my channel got cancelled. I was supposed to see Lizzo a couple weeks ago, but she cancelled last minute because she was really sick. And she actually was like really sick. She had to cancel, I think, her next show in Connecticut or something or Vermont. And apparently it was only her second time in her entire career that she ever cancelled a show. So I think she's feeling better. She already rescheduled for Montreal. She's coming in early June. So I'm really happy that you know, she, it was more a rescheduling than a cancellation. But anyway, tonight, knock on wood, I'm seeing Feist as well, which is exciting because a few, I think several years ago, she kicked off the jazz festival here in Montreal. But here, like tonight, she's just doing like a smaller venue, but it's very exciting. So next up is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Cream Bronzer. I have the shade 390. This is the full size one, not the travel size because... Why would I get the same thing? I know that the new uh, travel size one doesn't have coconut oil, which I know a lot of people are happy about, but that's really the only difference. A lot of people that I've seen, like Angela said, it looks the exact same. So I'm not gonna buy, I don't know. I was thinking of it, I was thinking of getting the travel size um, cream bronzer or even the travel size oil, just because of how easy that would be for vacations. But 
I don't know. I don't really feel like buying the exact same thing that I already own. If I'm going to get a new body oil for travel, I would either get the one from Dior because it's plastic, and that's just better for travel, or I would get one from NYX. It's like a French pharmacy brand. They have it here. It's much smaller and more, like just better for travel. So yeah. And this is the bronzer, but I'm sort of putting it on my cheeks too because it just creates like a really healthy, beautiful, bronzed, beigey look. Like the makeup looks very beige in a nice way. Even though it's cruise, it's not le beige, it's cruise. There's a difference. Wink. Now let's go into blush. So here they said that there are two blush options. There's number 260 Alezan, which a lot of you have and love, or number 71 Malice. Now I have Malice, but I cannot find it for the life of me. So I'm going into number 80 Jersey because I love Jersey. It's like my favorite blush color. It's the old formula, of course. And it's very much like your cheek, but better bronzer blush. So I am going off script here. I'm not using exactly as they said. So feel free to have me canceled on Twitter. Is Twitter still a thing? Is that still happening? I don't know. I have friends who are still using Twitter, but it's sort of like um, the band that played on the Titanic. They're just like, they're going down with the ship. So anyway, I'm going into Jersey. I'm going back into my big fluffy brush and the cream bronzer. I'm just dipping a little bit here and going a little bit into the crease. This is just to help marry all of the shades and the products together. It's not to look like ugh, she's wearing bronzer on her eyes. It just, yeah, it just subtly brings everything together because we mixed the bronzer and the blush here. Now we're mixing a bit of the bronzer and the eyeshadow. It just gives it a more cohesive, very natural, is she wearing makeup? No, she's not type of vibe. Now for the lip, I don't have either one of the products they mentioned. They mentioned the lip liner 158 Rose Naturelle and the Rouge Allure in number 206 Illusion. I don't have those, but I do have 162 Nude Brown. It's a beautiful Your Lip But Better in a nudey brown color. And I do have to say, I love their new lip liner formula. It's been out for a few years, but it hasn't dried at all. Like this one here is a couple years older. I have another one that's, I think it dates when these came out. They don't dry, they're very nice. It's a nice texture. So I'm just filling in my lip with this. And then I'm going in with a little bit of liquid lipstick. This is the dual ended one. This one is intense caramel. The long winded name is like Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue. So you have the liquid lipstick and the gloss on this side here, but I want the look to be more natural. So I'm going to go a bit more matte. I'm not going to add any gloss and I'm just sort of tapping this in to mix it in with the lip liner and my lip color. And then I'm just pushing it into my lip like this. And there we go. I can disembark a cruise ship in Monaco and just look like I woke up like this, of course. I did have a fun little idea. I have the eyeliner here, 48, which is a beautiful gold, and I thought maybe it would go with my earrings. So I'm just going to add just a little touch on the inner corner here, like inner waterline, just to add a little sparkle. So in order to complete our look, we have to go into a fragrance, of course. And I have a little mini sample here of Boy. This is the parfum, it's part of the exclusive line of perfumes for the brand. And I thought that Boy would be nice. I want something that's sort of smells like me, but better. <laughs> you know, I don't want Mademoiselle. I don't want Coco Noir. I want something that's like powdery and musky. But this one also has like a little bit of green to it. It's warm. It's woody, but it's also very fresh. It's very vibrant. It has like some citrus to it, but also a little bit of green notes. So it just smells like a nice, warm, sunny day at the country club. I don't know. This is what it makes me think of. I've never even been to a country club, but I imagine that's what it smells like. It smells like having lunch with a girlfriend in the middle of the week at some place fancy like a country club. And I'm getting country club vibes because of this like green, grassy note. So yeah, that's what it smells like. It smells nice and I, I think that this is a nice look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some inspiration. I love when they launch like 
the backstage makeup looks because most of the time I own everything that they have mentioned so I can just recreate it and I think adding a little bit of gold it makes it a bit more makeup-y. It looks like I'm wearing makeup more than if it was just a matte look but I love it. I love the very soft smoky eye and even wrapping the liner around the eye Honestly, I love it. It doesn't look like too much. I could wear this during the day. Well, I am. I am in fact wearing this during the day. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if there are other looks you want me to recreate. If you're new to my channel, I talk a lot about luxury beauty and I like to use and reuse new and old favorites. So if you're not subscribed, you are definitely missing out. Anyway, on that note, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.